the motherland and the commonwealth owed to the sacrifices a clamoring stood high in the annals of our nation solution come to at a meeting of the town council held on the 26th day of January 1953 confer and do hereby confer upon the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders the freedom of entry into the Royal Borough of Inverness on all ceremonial occasions with pipes playing, drums beating, bayonets fixed and colours flying in recognition of the traditions gloriously created and splendidly maintained by that most distinguished regimented formation and of its devoted service to our beloved Queen and our royal forebears at home and abroad in peace. attempt to add to the striking tribute with which the provost has acclaimed the regiment in whose honor we are assembled in the book park today. The fame of the Cameron Highlanders is known to all whose home is in Inverness and to countless others far beyond the regiment's native land. And there are only two things I would like to say. One is to convey a message of comradeship, congratulation, and goodwill from all ranks of the Black Watch, whose Colonel-in-Chief I am. <laughs> in peace and in war, these two famed regiments have ever stood together. There are two first battalions fought side by side in the First Guards Brigade in 1914. And in the last war, both regiments found a place in the 51st Highland Division, which you, General Wimberley, commanded with so much distinction. that the honor which you have conferred upon me today is enhanced by the thought that I shared it with a regiment for which I have long had a very high regard and for which I shall now feel a very special association and affection. Thank you. 